Welcome to Graphics TV, your source for graphic design tips and tutorials. Here is your host, Mac. Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you the steps I took to design this business card. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've got Illustrator open, so I'm going to start by opening up a new working document. So I'm going to go to File, New, and make sure you've got 3.5 inches for the width, 2 inches for the height, and 0.25 inches for the bleed, and click OK. All right, so we've got our document open. I'm just going to minimize that. We need to work on the front and back side of the business card. So we need to make a duplicate of this working area. So I'm going to click here, hold down the Alt key, click and drag. This is going to be our front, and this is going to be the back of the business card. Right, so next we need to add a background. So I'm going to double click here and change the foreground color to black. And then I'm going to click on this rectangle tool and create the background. So I've got this document set up already, so I'm going to switch over to that. Okay, so we're here in my uh, document that I set up earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the AutoWorks logo and drag a few elements that I need in my design. So I started off by dragging the symbol. Next, I added the name, the title, the phone number, and the email address. So what I did is I moved over to the back of the business card design, and I started off with the background in black, and then again, I dragged the symbol, and then I also added the QR code. Now, when you scan this QR code, it's going to show you the web address of this company. So let me show you how I got the QR code. Okay, I'm going to go over to Firefox and type in QR, qrstuff.com. And what you want to do is you want to type in your URL in there. And your Q QR code is generated in this preview automatically. So what I then did is I downloaded the QR code and clicked and dragged it into my Illustrator file. Okay, so once I've got that, uh, the last thing I did was I added the logo. Okay, in this business card design, we used the rule of thirds on the front of the business card. So you can see this symbol only takes up a third of the business card and two thirds is left for this information. Okay, and then on the back of the business card, we used this symbol to direct the eye to where the QR code is. Okay, so finally, what we need to do is we need to export this file and have it ready for print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As, and then select PDF and click Save. All right, I've already saved this document, so I'm just going to click Replace. Right, so while we're here, what I need to do is I need to click on high quality print and then go to marks and marks and bleeds and make sure trim marks is selected. Use document bleed settings selected and then click save PDF. This is the file you need to send over to the printing company and is ready for print. Okay, so there you have it, designing a business card professionally. Visit graphicstv.com for more tips and tutorials.